Fires, hurricanes, volcanoes, earthquakes, and typhoons. These are a few of the disasters that have happened in 2018. From mid-February to mid-December, 8,527 fires have destroyed 1.9 million acres in California. In October, Hurricane Michael, the third most high-pressure hurricane in the U.S., affected the southeast. In Guatemala, the Fuego volcano erupted twice, emitting columns of ash nine miles in the air, killing 100 people. In September, Typhoon Mongood, the strongest storm in 2018, ravaged the South China Sea with 150 mile per hour winds and an 11 foot storm surge. Later, a 7.5 magnitude earthquake killed 400 people in Indonesia. Now, you may be asking, what can I possibly do to help? The most efficient way to help is to donate money. But be aware, make sure you know what you're donating to. All over the world, various charities use the money to provide assistance to families affected. Let's look at the Red Cross's involvement. We advise you that donating money is the fastest way to help. To donate, call 1-800-RED-CROSS or text CA Wildfires or Michael to 90999. Open homes to victims using Airbnb and help pets by donating to the Humane Society. The International Red Cross has led relief efforts in South America. Join the local volunteers or donate online at icrc.org. Or donate blood with the GoFundMe campaigns that provide long-term aid to the victims. That's what the Red Cross has done in North and South America. However, these efforts have not been done easily. A problem we have faced in California is a lack of shelters and funding from FEMA. Furthermore, because remote areas have been affected by Hurricane Michael, Many people could not access our app because of power outages. In Guatemala, the eruption caused water contamination. We expect the recovery to take a year because families were separated in evacuation and less than 0.5% of the people received timely medical care. Daily, we are bombarded with tragic news stories. The world seems ravaged with natural disasters. Our hearts are with the families and communities who have been heavily affected by these catastrophic events. We admire your strength and recognize that as future business leaders, as a nation, and as a world, we must stand in solidarity, aid in relief efforts, and prove that we still have the most powerful weapon in our possession, hope.